Hello and welcome back. And in today's tutorial, we will be looking at duplicates and joins. And by that, we mean what happens when the column that we're joining on has duplicate values in one of the tables. In today's example, we will be looking at two tables, table A and table B. Table A lists orders that were conducted for a certain shop. Uh, it specifies their region and their status. So whether they were unpaid or whether they were paid. Table B lists the same orders, but an itemized description of those orders. So it lists the order number, the item that was sold within that order, and the sales that were generated through the sale of that item. And as you can see, orders in table B can be duplicated because some orders consist of several items. For example, order number one consists of a chair and a desk. And so we're going to be looking at an example of an inner join between these two tables. So basically we want to take um, the order number from table A and use that to join table A to table B also on the order number. So basically we want to connect the status of the order, whether it was paid or unpaid, to the item and the sales of the order. And currently this information is contained within two separate tables. We want to bring it together. From this image you can see that when we join the two tables on the order number, there will be two matches in the second table to order number one. There will be one match in the second table to order number two. There will be three matches to order number three in the second table. And there is no matches for order number four. So because this is an inner join, this row will be discarded from the final result. And what will happen now is, as you can see, there's less rows in the table on the left than on the table on the right. So every time there is a multiple match, the, uh, the rows that have been matched multiple times will be replicated. So duplicated or triplicated and so on. So in this particular case, the final table will look like this. And as you can see here, some rows of the table on the left have been duplicated to match the number of rows on the table on the right. And that is completely normal. So this is the way the final table will look in our output. So that's what happens when there are duplicate values in the column that we're joining on. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I look forward to seeing you next time.